woke up with fistfuls of her back hair. Oh, yucky, yucky. Imagine that. It's not fucking right. Yeah, it's sick. Are we sick. live, Matthew? Yes. All right. Well, episode number 37, is it? Yep, 37. 37. Wow. 37, is mate. It? We got 37, we got 38, we got 39, and we got 40. There's four episodes left in the season, man. Hey, sorry about that confusion, everyone. That's my bad, right? Yeah, it's okay. It's still, we got five to go. And that right there is why we pay you the big bucks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Episode number 36. And, you know, we, 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 just, we sat down today and we, you know how we're going to do the live show for the season finale? We, uh, since we've only got five weeks left, we, we're, we're tossing it up. We haven't, Michael and I haven't really done many public performance things before and we don't want to fuck it up. And, and we, yeah, we want it to be good. And typical us, we've, um, the time has gotten away from us and we don't think that we can, um, we can organize a good live season finale this year. All right? And it is fucking chaos with openings up and closings you just don't know what's going on and not, not and just also the fucking the sheer amount of work that we're trying to pump out at the moment like, i'm glazed with sweat Dude, right now we had a weird day like, like we're just filming so much and it's just so we're, we're just letting you know now i don't think that we're gonna have a live performance this year but we did we made a pact and we said next year ugh, we're gonna do at least two Okay, maybe halfway through the season and the season finale. We even cut our like fingertips. Well, Matt didn't he was scared, but we cut our fingertips and shook all our Blood Brothers. Blood we, we, we made, made a pact a as pact Blood Brothers. Yep. You weren't awake. You were unconscious, Matt. But we did do that. Yeah. All right? And so next year, we promise that we will deliver at least two live performances. We'll have uh, James on board. He'll be helping to organize shit. And that will take care of so much... We'll have so much more time. <clears throat> so much more time. So we're very, very sorry to break this news to you guys, but we don't think we're going to have a live performance this year, but next year. And ne next year's podcast, we've already started planning it a little bit. Let me tell you, fuck me, cunt. We're stepping it up. It's good you got shit. To. Each season. We're going to get a better set. We're going to get a table. Matt's going to be. We're going to get different angles. We've already got some awesome new segment ideas. It's going to be, it's going to be wild. Off tap, I'd say. <laughs> and I don't say that lightly. He doesn't say that ever. That's yeah. like the third time I've heard him say that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh my God, off tap. Oh, hey, shit, I didn't yeah, like I'm it. Not, I'm, not, I'm fucking <laughs> losing Holy it right shit. now. <laughs> oh my oh. God, he's, he's really pushed it. Yeah, dude. Do you want to push those cables away from you? Just no, in case? I reckon leave them. Man. No, I'm living on the edge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I reckon, seriously. That's that. Yeah. Hey, while I'm looking at your feet, how are you feeling with that toe now? Should we do a stunt time today? I ripped it off. Oh, Have did you? Ripped it, it off oh, for a cool. member dare video. Very good segue there, Matt. Mm. On the website dare video that is out right now, right? We took our website members dares and we did them. Well, we did seven of them. And Julian fucking, he stepped up. He, he, did, he had some shit, shit ones. Well, we're going to do, I think, a social media version. That should be out as well. Yeah, yeah that's like censored. right now. So, I don't think that... the. The toenail ripping will not be in the no. social media. And part. I got a whippersnipper up the leg. That probably won't be allowed to be in there. <coughs> but Julian got a very fucked tattoo. And just, the, yeah, the, you, you'll see. Go and have a look at the bloody social media or the website video. It's out right now. It's out right now. Yeah. Sign up. University yeah. of Michael. Three weeks free. Which is uh, one of our sponsors, by the way. So if you want to support this podcast... All you have to do is sign up to our University of Marco. The link is in the description. You get free for 21 days to see if you like the content. We post a massive weekly video on there. It's like 30 to 40 minutes long. And it's just like real fucked up shit. I realized the other day, you can't watch the shit we do anywhere else. There's no... Unless no, you, porn, go the, you go to Pornhub. Yeah, and a bit, the collective mm. content that we have. The science experiments, the fucked up shit. You need to go to the dark, dark web or, you, or to... Pornhub yeah, doesn't have people like, shitting on each other, does it? Yeah, I think you got to go a bit deeper. Yeah, well, I've never looked. I know what I'm doing later. Mm. I'm going to fucking... Not that it's like a... Dinner date? I'm going to try out some scat porn. Not dinner that, date. Not that, mean? <clears throat> not that the website is like porn, but we just do some very fucked up content. So, have a look. If you can't support the, us via that, please 
like, comment, subscribe the podcast. That is that is more than enough to make sure that this podcast. Thanks for being around, eh? Man, Thanks we fucking watching. love reading the comments. I had a high last night and read through the comments. It's fucking good fun. It's fucking good fun, man. Yeah, it's Isn't it? it's yeah. very nice. So thank you, and just fucking how cool is it? We got a little family here. Everyone listens to this. This very, very knowledgeable scientific And it's just a community of fucked fuckness, man. Yeah, and it's it just feels fucking hot. beautiful. It feels like we got a family here. And the other I sponsor, like of course, is Manscaped. So if you want twenty percent off all your male grooming products, go to manscaped.com and use our discount code fully actual twenty to get twenty percent off anything that you buy. That's a pretty good deal. Twenty percent off. So if you need a ball shaver, which in our opinion, is the best in the business. They got ball wipes. They got ball deodorant. They got just heaps of shit for your balls and your dick and just for your grooming in general. Oh, it smells good. Very good. <laughs> yeah, it's nice. It's just intense when it's now. in the eyes. <laughs> it's on your balls, that one. <sighs> yeah, sorry um, about that. So, yeah, manscaped.com, fully actual 20 for our discount code. Those are the fucking sponsors out of the way. And in <laughs> fucking big, beautiful news... I don't know if you guys you guys know that we've had a reach restriction on Facebook for twelve months, and that was crippling. Like we'd see people, we'd we know like, oh, how come you guys don't post anymore? So like we are every fucking week. It's just you don't see them because Facebook doesn't show you. Now, the reach restriction is gone, and my God, we have views again. We're, we're like all of our old videos, all the videos that we've done for the last year have just been freed. And we've fucking, we've grown like 100,000 followers on Facebook in three days. So we lost over the 12 month period, what, 150? Yeah, we, so we, yeah, we, over the 12 month period when we had the reach restriction, because Facebook doesn't show our videos to new audiences. So no one knew ever saw our videos. So we, you know, you lose a small percentage as you go. So it trickled down, lost about 150. And within three days, we've nearly made that 12 month damage yeah. up. Dude, that's fucking crazy. So it's such a it's, nice. It's feeling. motivating. It's good knowing that our videos will be seen by people again now, and they, they can go fucking viral again. Man, dude, it's gonna be a good like, end to the year. Literally, like we did when the reach restriction started, we came out with some of our best work, like the coin car, we, AFL, the video. AFL grand final, like storming the pitch video. Some good. Pranks. They like I think in the end those videos got Matthew Brown. They got less than one million views, mm. and for for it's in, because yeah, Facebook just stopped them. But now, now they have free. a chance. They have a chance. So that's that. <laughs> We're back. We're back, baby. The website's been keeping us going, and we fucking love the website. But Facebook is back. We can grow. New people will see us now. So fucking good news. We're in good moods, cunt. Yeah. Matt was in Tasmania. Yeah. Did, Matt, was, Matt was in Tasmania for a week. How was that, Matt? Yeah, it was good. Is there babes there? Yeah. There Tasmanians? Was. Yeah. Do they what what's with the what's with them thinking that they're all incest and shit? Is that's did, did just you see like this, that? that's stupid it's thing a, that countries do. Yeah, but surely that joke. stereotype came from somewhere. Yeah. Surely it wasn't just made up! Maybe. <laughs> but it's like how what what so everyone in New Zealand fuck sheep? Yeah. Well maybe a few people were. And then Yeah, well I'm pretty sure like Australians are yeah. incest. Because in a lot general. of stereotypes. And all Aussies ride kangaroos. Hmm. Oh yeah. I have one day. We've been training. So you went to Tasmania? Van Diemen's Land. What's that mean? That's the, the original, original name for the place. You didn't know that, did you? Van Diemen? Yeah, Van, <laughs> Van Diemen's, Diemen's Land. Land. That is a shit. It was man. good. I went to I saw some seals. I did a boat ride around Bruny Island. Saw some seals. Yeah, I work. I it was cold, that. but it was fun. And people don't have to wear masks there because they haven't had COVID. Oh, it was for so week. good. Yeah, there was no. As soon as we got off the plane, as soon as you walk out of the airport, no masks. It's like normal, normal life down there. Yeah, everyone's very be happy. Masks anyway, but, but yeah, fucking yeah. there you special. go, dude. I had to fucking move house on the weekend. Thank you very much for helping me, Michael oh, yes, and James. Right. Obviously, Matt couldn't. He was in bloody Tassie. And fuck me, moving house. I forgot how fucking shit it is. Oh, dude, it's. It's fucking hell. It's such a process because once you get all the shit there, you're not done. You got to put everything in a place. Pack. Look gotta, how boring that is. Gonna, and the last place, bond clean, carpet clean, oh. pest clean. You got to get your fucking bond back. You got to turn the electricity off. Hanging turn the your clothes up on the like fucking clothesline. You should just have a button that you push and it all Hang gets it? done. 
How is that not a thing yet? Dude, I'm pretty sure you can pay people to organize. Yeah, it. you can but pay for a lot. You don't of want people going through your shit. But even but I don't think you can pay people to call the electrical companies and say, oh, I'm, not, I'm moving out now. and Because I have to turn the electricity off on the old place and turn the internet off on the old place and then turn it on on the new place. Oh, that sounds complicated. Like calls, just calling people all the time. Yeah, you're not a fucking businessman. Dude, yeah, what the fuck, man? Can't you should be able to do that on the internet now. Like, yeah. instead of calling. Yeah, just with a button push. Oh, it's, yeah. Maybe space bar or something. Yeah. A teleportation device. One we day. should all have our own little electrical profile and we can just flick it on and off. 110. Fuck me, yeah. Movies, if we don't pay it, we can't flick it on and off. So but that's- It'll get better. Better house. Yeah, it's, Holy a much, shit. A, it's a much bigger house so we can spread out a bit more. And Bosley has a bigger backyard to run around in now, so- it's good. It's going to be good. It's progression. And um, yeah, so fucking that's our lives and fuck me. Things are where where things are looking up. It's going to be a strong end to the year and then 2022, I'm calling it right now, will be fucking huge for us. Okay? We got plans. Stick around because there, there's some fucking cool shit going to happen. All right? Yeah. Cat on the back, boys. There's a cat on the back for that. <laughs> Doing well. We're doing well in life. Mm -hmm. This time a year ago, man, fuck off. Dude, well, that's when the reach restriction hit. Yeah. And like just shit was just fucking hard. It was rough. Anyway, let's fucking, let's move right We had a little moan, but it was a celebratory moan. So thank you, everyone who stuck by us through that reach restriction. Let's do it. Let's get into the diary entries. Uh, Yeah, yeah. Fuck, we got shit to do. Let's get into the diary entries, everyone. Oh, yes. Okay, I'm ready. <coughs> Diary. Like Ken doll with that hair. Thank you, Matt. Like, Same body as well. You have been working out. I was looking at you I today. I was covered in um, glue, super mm. glue today. We redid the is, is glue super experiment. Anyway. <laughs> Diary entry number 144 from Michael Corey Brookhouse. <clears throat> Words are just sounds. When people were inventing words, I bet they just pointed at something and one of them would just make a sound and say, frog, <laughs> and the others would repeat it. And that's probably how words were invented. So if someone says, fuck you, don't get offended. Just remember that fuck you is just two sounds that were turned into words. Would you get offended if someone said stripple frock? No, because it just sounds that I just made. Anyway, I'm off to get some crispy chicken strips and some tomato sauce from KFC. <laughs> that is fucking spot on though. I've, all, I've fucking said that. <laughs> like it is like because you know how but it's a choice to be offended it's a choice to be offended if someone makes sounds that have been made up and then that sound makes you upset you've chosen to be upset and not only that you're placing your happiness into the hands of everyone else in the world and everyone else in the world does not give a fuck about you so you need to be careful and not choose to get offended by everyone that says something bad Dakota that goes to you. That bitch would get offended at everything. <sighs> trying to stay. Anyway, so, that is... It's true. Words are just sounds. So, yeah. <clears throat> Good diary entry. Diary entry number 113 from Marty. <clears throat> Today, I learned what a wallet is. A wallet is something where you put money in and some cards that say who you are. I hope one day when I'm older that I have enough money to put some in a wallet. My dad uses a plastic bag as a wallet after he gets paid from work and goes to the pub. It was a pretty good day. Oh, <laughs> that was a cute one. Oh, oh. grab his cheek. Oh, he's so cute. Slap him a bit. in jail for that. Diary entry number 69 from Julian James Hanson Woods from Ash Gravel, some shit. 4060 till I die. Yeah, yeah good day, boys. Yeah. Went to grandma's funeral today and got a few awesome selfies. Can't. <laughs> People these days are so too fucking sensitive. If I tell you you're a fucking dumb, ugly cunt, slut with shit tits and bitch eyes, don't come fucking coming at me all upset, cunt. I'm just being fucking honest. You should be saying thank you, cunt. Holy fuck, I split some hole last weekend, cunt. I must have banged like four chicks or no chicks. I can't remember. <laughs> Whatever it was, it was fucking sick, but yeah! Stab, stab, stand up, cunt. Big slash, stab, cunt. Stab! <laughs> big, big slash stab. 
It's like a stab and slash. Oh, he's getting that from Fortnite. The big slash when he's hitting, oh, he's out of Fortnite. When he's thing, knocking things down. Yeah, there's fucking. Is that what's the the thing that death holds? Little axe or I don't know. Grim it's like Reaper. a little pickaxe. Yeah, the Grim but, Reaper. Yeah, what's that? Yeah. Is that in Fortnite? Right. He he was going on about that today. He's yeah, just fucking got that weapon. He's getting so good. Have you been well, playing him? He's been that good. No, he's going to outgrow me. He'll go on his own. It so. sucks because he's so good at Fortnite, but then FIFA last night kicked his ass and made him rage quit. Yeah. I uh, just hear these screams of anger. <laughs> and it's because he dedicates he too, much <laughs> yeah, Way too much time yeah, to Fortnite. Way too much time to Fortnite. Yeah, he's into shooting games. Anyway, if you want to play with him, add him. Yeah. yeah. What's his... Um, what is it? Is he? he might oh, actually, I don't know things. if he wants his his thing out there. Yeah, maybe not. Yeah, but he, he likes it. He likes just he, he always plays on he's his on, Twitch. Yeah, oh, he's on his Twitch. Go follow his Twitch. What is it? It's Julian Woods or something. It's Julian Woods. Just I'm keep sending sure. him messages. I want to play with you on yeah. Fortnite. He'll accept. It, Look, if we all try and get around him and support him enough and let him know that it's not like a nerdy thing to do, maybe mm. he'll start Twitch streaming. Because honestly, I want you guys to see it. It's, yeah, it's freakish. It, it, he gets good. embarrassed about like he goes red his talking about. Fucking hands are like a blur. Yeah. His thumb is like a fucking blow. That's the sound it makes. Yeah. His eyes go up like he yeah, channels. He's not even he doesn't even look at the screen. It goes up. Yeah. It's like telekinesis. And he has the, his back facing the screen. Like it's so weird. Mm. Yeah, it's something about anyway. backs and backs. Backs on backs. <clears throat> yeah. Diary entry number 1080 from Matthew Gregory Brown. <clears throat> it was a stunning spring day. My skin was pink and burnt as I laid on my front lawn. I was peeling skin off roadkill I'd found for lunch and said out loud to myself, I've been training so hard and my confidence is higher than Emma. Plus I just recruited my dad to help me. I haven't had a day to tweak myself in months. Not having any days off and training so hard is really having a negative effect on my mental health. And I BAM! I was immediately snapped back into reality when the scent of a 14 year and 4 month old blonde girl towards the end of her menstrual cycle hit my nostrils like the planes that hit the Twin Towers. Looks like it's treat day to day. I lurched up off the lawn and turned towards my house. My neck stung with hot excitement. Dad! I'm having a day off for my mental health! I screamed back at the house. Still facing the house, I pushed off and began bounding backwards with such ease that I would bound over entire backyards on a single stride. Still shirtless, I found the blonde girl walking with two boys her age. She was stunning. They were all talking and I saw how handsome one of the boys was and I became shy. I trailed behind them and kept my head down. I sped up and could hear what they were talking about. I must have been too keen as one of the boys noticed me. Oh yuck, why does that guy have his shirt off? My skin went a deep purple colour as I felt traumatically embarrassed. I put my head down and passed the three without making eye contact. I heard them giggle. Then I felt rage so profound that I wanted to change my name to Quest It and turn back. You know, I actually thought you guys were going to be cool, but turns out you just like everyone else. The three teenagers were taken aback. They stopped giggling and their faces changed. They softened. Sorry, mate, we shouldn't have been so rude, said the boy. Yeah, it's not nice. Really sorry. As soon as the girl spoke, the skin on my face cracked, leaving a large wide gap. I screamed in pain and a river of pre-cum jet shot out of my ass. The tree, three teenagers turned and ran. Watching them run off made my brain fizz with lust, and I rolled my eyes so far back in my head that they did a full circle. I blacked out momentarily, came to, and felt more satisfied than I'd felt in months. I slid the dome backwards and had a deep, deep sleep with my father cunt. <laughs> oh no. Oh, that no. could have ended a lot worse. I thought that they were in for a, a beating. But you just wanted to be friends with them. Imagine seeing someone's eyes go all the way around. Goes up and then comes back from down under. <laughs> all right. Very good. Still um, napping with my dad. <laughs> on last week, we, after kissing, I sucked my balls quickly. <laughs> Fuck, dude. Very good. Oh, oh, very, anyway. very good. All right. Next segment has been renamed. <laughs> <laughs> Very this good. Is where we answer your questions that you come in on the Muddy Michael Fully Actual YouTube channel. Oh. And what we do is we go through and we select the most liked questions and we answer those first. So if you want us to answer your question, comment it and then see if it gets the most likes. Have a scroll through, see which other questions you want us to answer, and give them a like if you want us to answer that particular question. Keep the questions coming, keep the comments coming. Should we smoke up? Yes.
Bong break. Um, top comment is from Ryborg. Ryborg six. Um, he said, "Can we get m- some more on this days again?" Um, uh, Matt's research was top notch and always made me laugh out loud. Diary entries are funny too. We bring back the on this days. All right. Well, if that's what the how many likes does that have? Uh, Thirty. If that's what the people want, then that's what the people get. <coughs> so All we'll right. start with we'll start with one on this day. Yeah, maybe just a couple. Yeah, well, just chuck one on I this I think day. we do one. Is that like, right? Yeah, just I'll, one I'll on find, this day. I'll research some top quality content on this day and we'll just do one. All right. There you have it, guys. On this day, we'll be back. You asked for it. We delivered. Coming back next week. <laughs> and top question went to Ryan Franz Ferdinand. Um, question for the podcast. Have you guys heard of the German metal band called We Butter the Bread? with butter they have a new album with a song called maybe marty can pronounce this. that oh. is racist matthew Actually, pronounce that word it is not <laughs> that is not a german word <laughs> you just did, did it so good <laughs> that sounds german that sounds like german <laughs> is that what you think germans talk like you fucking cunts! You convicts! Bunch of convicts! Guten Tag, guten Tag. Guten Tag. What's thank you or what's sorry? Thank you, schön. What's sorry in German? I look so sorry. Entschuldigung! 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 Entschuldigung. 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 Speaking of German, uh, Nikki um, has said that she's working on oh, her. Yeah. She's preparing. We should fucking employ her. She's doing all this hard work on oh, top of man. her. Oh, man. Nikki. Thank you, Nikki, for doing that. We've- she's sending more German phrases so the German well, dude, will I'm, return. Like, she, she doesn't have to do this. We literally just have to... Like they got shuffled around. There's so many there. I reckon that nah, we, nah, we did a lot, man. We did a fair bit. Okay, we, 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 did, we, we did. We did three like, or four an episode. Yeah, three an episode for like twenty at least. That's so like sixty cars, can't. Okay. <laughs> um. Yeah. For probably <laughs> by the time she's ready, it might be good for season four. Exactly right, mate. Season four. But yeah, thank you. That's awesome, Nikki. Um. All right. Um. But no, we haven't heard of that German bad to answer your question. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even pronounce Ryan's name. So yes, the- you can, Matthew. I want you to have a go, okay? Look at it. Sound it out. Put the sounds together. You can do this. <sighs> okay. Ryan Ferdinand's. Ferdinand's? No. Sorry. <clears throat> Disappointing. Right. Next question is from Brad Silver. Um, Marty, can you not chew into the mic while breathing like a Komodo dragon? It's heat. Um,. Yep, I can do that. I think he's referring to you. I think you were eating Chinese last episode just as we started or... Uh, through, I can't yeah, remember. Yep, yep, yeah, yep. We were in a bit of a rush then, yeah. But um, I think I enjoy... It does get a bit of a reaction out I, of I remember doing in the prank call with Darren last week and I was like mm. chewing a lollipop and it like added to the arrogance of Darren. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That was character. Yeah. That was perfect. Yeah, I, but I enjoy it. It does really irk Yeah, people. definitely bring it out when it's needed. Um, now, look, dude. Oh, wow. Michael's got his belly button piece from that dare video. Dude, it's infected no, no. as fuck. And there's like... That's glue. Oh, I've got a bit of glue on it, mate. <laughs> Next question is from Johnny Pepper. Um, <laughs> question for the podcast. Have you boys invested in any crypto? Um, yep. We, we've put a little bit of money and we get advised by some fucking... Our accountant and shit. So, um, yeah, we, we put a little bit in. Just the... Not nothing. Just Bitcoin, oh. Ethereum. Mm, we don't, don't know all know. the like yeah, new even, ones. There's so many now. Yeah, so nothing crazy, but yeah, a little bit. All right. Next question is from Matthew Knowles. Um, what is your most embarrassing moment when you've been at a nightclub? Oh, oh so many, dude. <laughs> Fuck, embarrassing. Well, usually we want, we do something because we. It's hard to be be embarrassed. But what about that disabled girl you tried to hook up with? <laughs> was munted munted as fuck both of us were it was the end of the night the start with the first story from the night oh yeah yeah all right so we're at some fucking bar or something in brizzy and we 
is a cheeky little night out. We buy some pills off some dude. We take we take one each, and then an hour later, we're like, oh fuck, they don't do anything. Oh well, we pop the rest in our mouths. We halve the rest. It's like two or three, and then we're like, uh, you know, start talking to these two girls, and then literally like five minutes. I still remember the second that I sort of was became aware of how we sounded. It was like it started really well. They seemed like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like into us or whatever and then I just remember like uh, noticing that the girl I was talking to was getting a bit like uncomfortable and then and then I, I sort of listened into Michael's conversation and Michael was making no sense like the complete like, like, uh, 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 <laughs> like looking completely <laughs> fucked and I realized oh. that I nowhere near as bad but was also slowing my words and was hard to maintain a conversation so while we're talking to these girls the fucking pills had hit us and hit us so hard oh, that we can't even fucking talk and then they literally just mid conversation and both just nodded at each other and got up and left <laughs> fucking <laughs> dude it was then, I don't remember man. any of the night. Like, man. You, Matt, you've seen me like munted Michael. Like, this is where my face caves in and shit. Oh, yeah. I've got a whole hidden <laughs> folder of video of you. <laughs> like, fuck, it's so oh. good. And then at the end of the night, we're like getting ready to leave. There's like, fuck all people left. There's a um, oh. a, girl, a girl in a wheelchair. And um, My- Michael was- It wasn't like, it was a Stephen Hawking's wheelchair. It was like <laughs> the holy grail of wheelchairs. And Michael's It wasn't like, just a fucking wheelchair. I don't crossed, remember like, this, by the way. Like sort of talking to her, but not really, again, not really making any sense. Just sort of sitting there talking. And it wasn't like in a creepy or sleazy way, but Michael just sort of like, so just, just like friendly, like lent in for a little bit. And she just fully like reversed and got out of there. Reversed. <laughs> <laughs> She beep, beep, beep. I will see you later, she said. <laughs> <laughs> that's so fucked up. <laughs> no, yeah, she wasn't. That's some. That's the nights that me and Marty got up to. Yeah. I, I only have vision, like a memory of the beginning when we we're talking to those girls, and then once the pills hit. Everything is black. Yeah. Fucking big oh, night. Oh, man. Fucking hell. Big night. But yeah, that came off a question somehow. <laughs> Next question. So that's an embarrassing <laughs> fucking yeah, that's night. embarrassing night. Like, like fucking embarrassing. munted nights out, dude. Like, I had a friend. Oh, no, I'm not going to tell that one. Fuck it. Yeah, All right, we'll next, do more another time. Next question is from Ilbendo89. Hey, boys, oh. I was thinking it'd be amazing if um, you could do a Christmas <laughs> episode. Would you ever do a Christmas episode? Mm, yeah, we may. We're, look, we're talking about it today. We've got, what, five episodes left of the season. We're thinking about since there's oh, a, a Christmas special. Yeah, a Christmas yeah, special. A special one for Christmas. Yeah, fuck it. We'll like... We'll have time. Yeah, well, what we'll do, once we finish all 40 episodes of this season, that ugh, a week after the last episode, we'll do a Christmas special, but we'll release it closer to Christmas. And yes. we'll also we'll animate some diary entries in between too, so there's some shit coming out. Oh, we'll get Santa costumes and shit. Imagine oh, if yeah. We, imagine if we animated like all oh, of the diary dude, entries. I would watch that start to finish when I'm baked. Dude, that could be- Like that would be so entertaining to watch. That could be the next- Jail for me. The next The Simpsons. Oh, do you know what I mean, dude? But, let's get more. Let's get Goob to do more of those. But like the whole, all of them, like everyone. Yeah, let's eventually. Some of them started with the best long. ones. Some of them are quite. Some long, are yeah. quite long, but if, I'd love to see some animated also, versions of Marty's. The or, other thing I was worried about, like imagine if um this because some of the dinosaurs are pretty fucked up. Like, how would you animate that in a way where it stays up on YouTube, or can you have fucking dicks and come and? Are shit? you allowed to have? Yeah, it's is cartoon, cartoon porn. Yeah, you got to be careful because oh, it's that it hentai, is or whatever it is. Yeah, so like I don't know. It's oh, well, sh- maybe you could have like objects, it's like. Oh, well, maybe me. we just release certain ones, or we could just blur. We could be animated, but we blur the. Yeah, you could around. do that because yeah. I think they are more lenient with cartoons. Yeah, fuck. They have to be. Yeah. Oh man. But yeah, anyway, we'll sucks. figure it out. We'll figure it out. We'll definitely get some diary entries animated. <laughs> we'll do. Yeah. Hopefully, they stay up. Hmm. Uh, next question is from oh man I think he gave me shit about oh, will Matt Brown ever say someone's name correctly at the first attempt <laughs> so that was his second part to his question but I'll try his name uh, Kusana Kusana Nana oh, Kusana Nana 
That's Next cool, question man. is from Kasana Nana. Um, Marty, what is the what is the worst state you've ever seen Michael in after a bender? Uh, he's been in. He's been completely unconscious. It doesn't matter what I do to him, he's completely unconscious. And I don't think that's that's a state that I've seen him in multiple times. I don't think he gets any worse than that. But there have definitely been some times where we've been on MDMA. Oh yeah, this is pretty fucking bad. <laughs> on MDMA, and he'll walk up to me in the middle of a nightclub <laughs> once and goes, "Do you know where the small dumbbells are?" And I was like, "What do you mean? <laughs> so where, where are the small dumbbells? I can't find them." Thought that we were at the fucking gym. <laughs> he had so much MDMA that he thought we were at the gym. And then I was like, "Dude, we're like out at a club," and he's like, oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> laughed it off and sat back down. Dude, what about the time you found me when I was Uber driving? I was like oh, yeah, accepting yeah. fares another in the night casino. Out. Another <laughs> night out when we were fucking poor as fuck still and we were Uber driving. My, we were, had a rare night out. And it was like so rare to have these nights. So we went hard and we were at the Gold Coast or something. <clears throat> and I look over at Michael. He's had heaps of MD again. And he's on the, not the Uber app the uber driver app the app that you open when you when you're you know driving passengers around and getting paid and he's accepting fares <laughs> on the app and then i'm like dude what are you doing don't accept, you're gonna fuck your rating and he's like man we gotta work man we gotta we gotta fucking you wanna, you wanna be fucking this poor forever we gotta work man and i'm like dude we're fucking out you can't you don't have a car it's like i'm so used to with uber driving every single weekend i'd be uber driving so i probably just your brain just went into, snapped my brain, brain after all these pills. Into, like, oh. what, it's what it knows. Yeah. <laughs> just what it's familiar it's like with. like the front part was just dead and the back bit just kicked in. <laughs> doing, it, doing it that time normally. That's what I go to. Oh, man. Oh, very good. Good Fucking, question. Yeah. Uh, next question is from Reb Scal. Um, what did Marty's girlfriend say about her wheels when we stabbed him out? Um, yeah, she, oh, she pissed? wasn't, she wasn't upset. No, she's used to that sort of shit now. And plus she has another car, um, that she can use, um, at the moment. So it wasn't that big a deal. So, and it's, you know, the car's a piece of shit anyway, but yeah, so she was, she was completely fine with it. But you know, I do, Same on. I do come home looking like a fucking freak sometimes <laughs> and Mon has to just put up with it. I come home the other day with fucking an eyebrow missing and my head <laughs> hair, that fucking haircut. <laughs> Didn't you have to go to like <laughs> your stepdaughter's party yeah, on the weekend? So you had to shave your fringe yeah, off. Yeah, Esther had a joint party and like all these also... Esther's friend and all her friends were there with all their parents, obviously. So I can't go in looking like a fucking psychopath with all these other parents. So I had to, I used like three different pens and colored an eyebrow on. And was it no like, one knew. Was it legit? Yeah, yeah. Everyone thought, no one said anything about it. I didn't notice anyone staring at it. So I think I got away with it. Wow. And yeah, I just had to shave that tuft off my head. But yeah, very, very awkward to be trying to be normal around normal it people. It would be hard. Yeah. Especially when you have physical fucked upness. Yeah. And it's like, yeah. Even like, it's not, it's fucking difficult for me in general to like be in normal situations and have to talk <laughs> adult to adults. Like it's like, oh. Oh yeah. It's tough days. And like, and then, but like looking, like imagine missing an eyebrow and yeah. having this weird And trying to make thing. like a good normal impression on someone so that, you know, they're not scared to have their kids hang out with, you know, yeah. some fucking <laughs> Marty, Marty, what do you, uh, what do you do for work? That's the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, next question. I had Steve Brown and Emmanuel Feola. They both asked the same question. Um, are you guys planning on releasing um, any merch related to the website or the podcast? Yeah, we we did discuss We've, this. Yeah, so this is the sort of plan. We're gonna maybe release something towards the end of the year, before it's Christmas. The end of the year, before Christmas, sort of like slogans but, that only people that from the and oh, ex fuck, exclusive, website. yeah, exclusive to the website. And the reason that we're doing that is just because we don't know the demand. We don't know how many we're gonna sell. So we just sort of want to we can get gauge, a gauge right? And you know, if during our merch week you want to sign up to the free trial, you'll you'll be able to buy them, and then you can just cancel once you've bought the merch if you want to do that. Uh, so that's a way around having to pay for our subscription and still being able to buy merch. Yeah, but it's gauging from our members in the University of Markle, see how well the merch does there. If it goes really, really well, then we'll take the next stage because yeah, what we be don't open want to, to everyone. 
Yeah, because the one thing we want to try and avoid is starting merch and then and not half doing it properly it. like last time. We did it. We just quickly were like, oh, yeah, fucking Shopify, <laughs> drop shipping. Oh, man. And like and the was quality shit. was shit. We want it to be good stuff. And sustainable so we can keep doing merch. You know what I mean? Can you, yeah. sell, um, can you sell merch through Instagram? Yeah. You, can, you can connect a shop. Yeah, you can connect. Yeah, dude. Yeah. It's crazy these days. Come yeah. High tech shit. Sorry. <laughs> um, Next question is from Stephen Hunt. Um, What would you guys do if you had twin brothers? Like, what would I do to the twin? Oh, man. Life would be a lot easier. You could have... You don't have to work half the time. Oh, like, twin is in the same looking as you? Yeah. And same personality? I guess so. Yeah, that'd be great. You just have them, have them in half the videos and then me in half the videos. Half less work. Yeah, it could come in handy in things. Half mm. less work. And it'd One be could- cool having, like, some dude... That's you. You could kill someone and, and if you put enough thought into it, you could 100% yeah, frame that, a twin. You, that's what clones are for. Your twin would be like, he's had the same amount of time as life as you, so he'd be pissed if you did that and say that you did that. If you just get a clone fresh out of the fucking laboratory car, car. and then their brain hasn't had a whole life to question it, bang, you say go kill that person and you go to prison forever. They'll oh. do it. I've done it. Really? Fuck. Next question is from the other hunt, Peter Hunt. What are the odds of that? Both in next to each other. Um, question for the podcast. If you worked in the adult film industry, what would your stage names be and who would you work with? Um, stage name. Does that mean like my porn name? Yeah. What would your pornography name be? Um, well, you'd be, you'd be in scat Michael porn. Michael Cunt. <laughs> and it would be spelled M-Y space C O O L space C U N T. My cool cunt. <laughs> and I would get a sex change and I'd have a cunt. I'd have an actual. Oh, a huge one. Yeah. One that went halfway <laughs> no, up your gut. No, no. And I'd always have ice in it. Hence my cool cunt. Like I'd have like, it'd just be a really cold. Vagina, Matt's not in, in group situations, you could rel- relax and ice would fall out of your yeah. cunt. Yeah. And it would just, yeah, it'd be a big. It'd, it'd be brown. It'd be fucking it, my cool cunt. I think I'd just be uh, Spikes McGon. You'd be in scat porn. You'd be Marty Farty. Spikes be McGon. And I'd be just, I'd have like spiky skin somehow. It'd be scaly. So like everyone that you fucked would have. It'd turn into blood sex. Well, it, yeah. You know, it'd be for people who want like lizard fetishes. Lizard oh, fetishes. Oh, yeah. Reptilian vibes. Yeah, 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 yeah. A spike. Let's just change it to spikes, please. <laughs> <laughs> Is it too late to just change it to just spikes? <laughs> All right. So, my ch- change the stage name to spikes. M- spikes. That's it. <laughs> S-P-Y-Y-Q-U-E-Z. Squire. S P Y Y. For some reason, I want to Q U. Oh, there is Q. Spikes. <laughs> Spikes. Spikes. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. Next question is from the Juicy Fruit. Um, oh, you guys ever think good. to yourselves, "What am I actually doing with my life?" It is so, like, <laughs> fucking look. It, this <laughs> the road that we have taken. <laughs> No one's, you know, this job, this job that we have, it hasn't been around for very long. There's no, there's no one to, for, to there's no one there to say, oh, do this. No, don't do that. Don't do this. Concentrate on this more. We are just fucking winging this shit as we go. And that's what it is. So, yeah, there are plenty of times when we're like, what the fuck are we doing? What the fuck did we just do? You just shit on my back? <laughs> yeah, I should say I've said that. So, yeah, there are plenty of times, but we just, all we're trying to do, we just remember why we're doing it. Yeah. Just trying to make some funny shit. We want to make, make funny laugh. Thing. That's it. And as we keep focusing on that and that's all of our decisions come back to that. And then, yeah, you got that goal, that main goal, it the motherboard. Out. It's worked out so far. It's worked out so far. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's being so cute today. He's real, it's like a young German Marty. That's enough. <laughs> That's enough about my German heritage. Thank you. <laughs> oh, shit. Um, next question is from... Um, next question is from Brooklyn Bice. One of our... 
Discord. Brooklyn. She claims that she's number one Discord. I don't know if that's true. Premium she member did. Brooklyn. I just saw she fucking got a shirt made up. Her own merch. Oh, yeah. yeah for Brooklyn Boss got it's a about jumper. Julian's like 40, 60 till I die. She got it printed yeah, on. Yeah, very good. Um, well, Brooklyn Bice. Oh, by the way, Brooklyn Bice. She reckons. Um, she reckons I have veneers. Oh, oh wow! wow. Oh, yeah, they have do nice have very teeth. nice teeth. Yeah. yeah, which um, you lucky can't. It's not true. They're my normal. real teeth. I re- I've ground mine down over the years. Hey, eh? now they're. I reckon they used to be like this long, like a good five centimeters long each. Mm. Now they're down to this. Yeah, but still, they're straight as fuck. Yeah, it's because I ripped one out when the wisdom teeth are coming yeah, through. True. I got to bend one here. Wait, there. Yeah, you you got to rip one out, mate. Oh, Never yeah, you pull one out with a pair of pliers. Is this? Has anyone else not like? Oh, there was a twenty. I'm not even kidding. Twenty years where I didn't go to the dentist. Yeah, I'm on a long streak at the oh, moment. Oh, dude, I've, it's fuck, fucking terrifying. I, I'm, I, I'm scared to go. My biggest fear. My biggest fear is the dentist. I'll put my hand up. I'll I put need my hand up and say it. I did get. <laughs> <laughs> I did get insurance recently so I can start preparing to go. Yeah, it's, it's, like, dude, it's been a while. Fuck. It is fucking terrifying, man. I'm just going to go when something hurts. So, I had my wisdom teeth coming through and mm. it crowded my mouth and one of my teeth started twisting. Oh, yeah. So, it's pushing a teeth. You yeah. probably need to get that out. No, I did. I just oh, ripped did. it out. Himself, though. The I sick ripped, fuck. Because it was quite what? loose. So, I just ripped it out. And then now my bottom teeth, it's all fine. There's a couple that are yeah. fucking drunkenly fucking splayed out. Because usually they're not in, not, there's not enough room for them. So, it pushes along. Well, what's, got- what's that cunt's problem? Is he standing in the bin? Bozzy. We're here for another half an hour. Um, but yeah, usually you're you got to watch out your that your teeth aren't. It's not growing that way. Yeah, coming in sideways. Yeah, coming sideways. <laughs> What's that guy's problem? <laughs> She's just standing at the door. It's had a gut full of oh, our screaming. Yeah, the screaming. Anyway, got Brooklyn to- Boss. Go to my room, boys. Go have a sleep. Or, or maybe he needs to piss. Surely not. I'll let him out. Um, so Brooklyn Boss has asked. Um, she says, "If one of you pegged it, which means I guess die." If one of you die, would you replace them with someone in your circle to carry on or would it be back to Uber life or Woolies? Who's sorry this? To, sorry to ask a uh, sad question. Wait, what? Brooklyn. If someone dies? No, but who dies? One of you. Well, one of us. Yeah. So, do you replace them with someone else or do you just continue on? Oh, I don't or do know. you just go Fuck back to man. Uber? That, would be, it'd, it'd be that com- would be rough, eh? It would just have to be a complete it'd change. It'd be a shutdown, change. wouldn't it? It's like starting again. It's basically yeah, like you- starting again. Uh, that would be right. Not to answer your question, but I think you'd you'd change your whole platform. I don't think I'd want to be on camera for a while. I just Marty died. I'd just do like fart content, like I'd and <laughs> prank calls. That's it. That's me done. <laughs> I just oh, fucking shit. I just fucking fart <laughs> and film it and just make massive compilations, cunt. <laughs> yeah, you just and I'd get so fat. Cunt. In the po- <laughs> I'd get so fucking morbidly obese. All my hair would fall out. I'd have a wispy little mullet, and my eyes had massive dark bulges under my eyes. My oh. teeth would be all yellow oh. and fucked, and my fingernails would be fifteen centimeters long. Oh, oh man. You turn into question. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, hey. <laughs> <laughs> or fucking like, what's the choir? <laughs> fucking <sighs> um. Yeah. Wow. I'd probably go on a big, big drug bender. Oh, it's straight out of my nose. I don't know where to put this now. Put it under the table. Under the table. Let's clip it. So I do believe Brooklyn is campaigning in the Discord to get on the on the background one episode. Oh. But I was thinking. Can't just put her on. Well, when maybe I- we do a whole group of fans yeah, for a background one day. Yeah, for the dis- we'll cunt. get a maybe screenshot of the the, all the cunts in Discord. Maybe. And then all of us just chatting or away and then we can have the faces on there. I could do it. It'd take some work, but with some Photoshop, you could get them all to send a selfie in and I could put all the selfies together into one photo. Wow, and, and Matt's and used to be a photographer. Many, so and, and if there there's you go. any there's any photoshoppers who watch uh, this podcast, have a go at maybe photoshopping some funny shit together as the background. Oh yeah. Put, I, 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 I really um actually that's a great point. I really want to start putting some of the Photoshop works that people have been putting out. So I've got a few of them. I mean to be posting them on the Instagram. Yeah. So I'd love to get some yeah, some funny stuff. There you go. Out. If you know Photoshop good and you want to send weird fucking animations or pictures fucking of us. Pictures yeah. and or shit. even something combined pictures with pictures. I'm for it. Yeah. Go for it. We'll put it on the back and yeah, I reckon that's a good idea send with the them, Discord people. We'll send get them, them to on the, the backdrop too, Matt. Send them to the fully actual Instagram. <laughs> Yeah, if yeah, you're on Discord, send a selfie of yourself to Fully Actual. Fuck me, it's already bloody. 
All right. All right. Two more questions and we're done. Um, question for the podcast. Um, who do you like better? Do you like Chris Rock or Eddie Murphy? Um, and also for fighting, do you rather Mike Tyson or Muhammad Ali? Uh, comedians. I haven't watched much of Eddie Murphy, but I've watched a bit of Chris Rock. It's, it's like, it's, yeah, it's, Chris Rock is, is a funny guy. I've You've never Chris, watched Eddie I'd go Murphy Chris Stanford. Rock over Dave Eddie Sh- Murphy and I'd go Muhammad. Wow. Tell you who's even better than both, though. Dave Chappelle, go watch his latest Netflix yeah, Dave special. Chappelle is very, very, good. very funny guy. Fuck. I have me. to go Eddie Murphy over Chris Rock, but I just enjoy his old stand-up. There's not much of it, yeah, but it's amazing. I haven't heard I haven't much of it. Enough of it, eh? Yeah. And I like Beverly Hills Cop. I'm just going off movies. I prefer Chris Rock's mo- movies. Over yeah. See, and what about what yeah. were the fighters? Tyson and Ali. Tyson and Ali. I just go Ali. Yeah, you'd have to go Ali. But even fuck Tyson me. Actually, says that. Mike Tyson is so entertaining, though. Fuck his fights. What fucks come? See, I think Ali would be entertaining too. Watching him, some of his old. It'd be footage. probably similar to what year was Fury? Ali? Well, like, like the 80s, 70s, no, it was 80s, like or something? Vietnam, so it was like 60s or 70s, I think. So there you have it. Anyway, should we get one more? Yeah, go on. <gasps> a lot of questions, guys. Thank you all for sending them in. Bloody love you. We got to get to Toka. Oh yeah. Oh, hang on, there was one here that was very good. Toka. Uh, Look at the piss. There's got a bit of sediment at the bottom now. Oh, um, Fly by night. Oh. Question for the podcast. Marty, why are you German? That's pubes. Oh, and there's pubes in there. Hey, look, mate. It wasn't my choice. All right? You, 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 you wake up one day and you're in the circumstances that you're in. You can't choose it. You just you wake up and you deal with it and you move to Australia as quickly as you can. And that's what I've done here. And I've I've done I've done Germany proud. Yeah, I might have left a lot of heritage behind, a lot of family. But I I sit here today as proud. Well said. <laughs> it's always more emotional if you stand up. So that was fucking big. I didn't even realise I was standing up then. All right. Um. Should we just get into the PO box and then we'll end this? Uh, yeah, do we have any fuckly? Yeah, we do. All right, next segment of the PO Unbox. Sorry, we're moving a little quicker now. It's just because we looked at the time and uh, we don't want to be late to Toka, okay? <laughs> because it's our one evening a week where we can really just throw oh. ourselves out there. Yeah, it's oh, a good go. time to unwind. Letters. All right, oh, oh, we do have a fucking, package. We have Mr. Coda again. Every week. All the letters were like that, so I didn't know what to do. Every fucking week that... Same guy. We do have a box here, though, guys. So fear what not. What is going on? What is it? That oh, is- Marty, can you be careful with the boxes? I feel like I read a comment somewhere that someone was going to try and send a bomb in or something. I don't know. Oh, fuck you, Matt. Why would you say that to me right now? All right, so just be careful. It looks friendly. That doesn't look friendly. Oh, oh what okay. is it? Whatever this is, is wrapped in oh. blue paper. What? He fucking got me. Don't blame me. You said send weird shit in for- Yeah, you're right. We shouldn't get angry at you. Yeah. <laughs> and this that? isn't the coda. What is it? I keep getting the coda and him confused. I rubbed my dick, nutsack, dick cheese, hair from nutsack, spat on it, lick it, rub my bum, and a toe clip of mine is in this letter. So where he's fucking- He circled it. I don't like what Marty's pulling he out. He circled it, and that's where I was grabbing. Like I was- <laughs> <laughs> oh my him. fucking hand! Oh, yeah, well, well done. done. Wash your hands. Well done. Keep that shit coming. Oh. I'm, I've probably f- gone and fucked myself here too. All right, do you want to open? Oh no, it's just more paper. All right, here we go. I'm now opening this package. Oh, I love blue presents. paper around it. I don't know. It doesn't look safe. Okay, it's a Tupperware container, oh, which is no, a never not good, good thing. <laughs> Tupperware container is never good. Wait, oh. I think we got some. Oh my magic god! Cookies. Oh my god! Is it's, it? a, it's a Tupperware container full of cookies. Now we're not jumping to any conclusions, but this is good. we think that these could be our favorite type of cookies. Anyway, let's read on. Oh, they look like they are. Hey, ringworms! I baked some special cookies and thought I'd share. They're strong, so don't eat them all at once. <laughs> oh, you have no idea our tolerance from. I don't know if you want me to say your nah, name. we'll keep him. First name. Oh, it's all right, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. From Angela. Thank you very much, Angela. This this is like, thank you. Holy shit, dude. Dude, this is what we, like, we're popping one in. This uh, is as soon as this podcast, I'm oh. pop, popping one in my mouth. We're going to talk. Oh, yeah. Oh, did you change the night? Does that deserve a clap? Um, yeah, that's yeah. a clap. There's more, there's more to the letter. Um, <clears throat> P.S. Thanks for the content. 
Always jump on the website after a shitty day. Oh, well, there you go. Thank you. Fuck. Not for podcast. Okay. Yeah, let's give her a bloody follow, eh? Mm-hmm. Oh, man. Mm-hmm. Angela, you are the girl. Save the day. That's touching. You get a bit of ball sack and dick cheese on your hand. Then you get a fucking little magic cookie. Matt, you going to have one? Hmm. Nah. All right. Requested. There you go, Angela. Thank you very much. We fucking love okay, all you. the shit you guys send in. Where's, there's still another letter. There's still another letter. There's still another another. another. Careful. No. I'll just... Look at this, man. How dangerous is that? Open it. And mine huh? it Look at that. Yeah, exactly. Huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> what have we got here, huh? <laughs> mm-hmm. <sighs> oh. Codes. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for more codes. What do we got here? We got some. Okay, page stuck two. Your finger. Okay, we got this guy who sent some codes. Thank you for the codes. Oh, this is the fucking P.O. box this week. Keep sending your shit. There is our P.O. box. Oh, you fucking good. you fucking send some shit and we open everything live on the podcast. You want to send us some crazy shit? Send us some crazy shit. You want to send us some cool shit? Send us cool shit. It's all entertainment. It's all just great. You're adding to the whole community of it. A P.O. box. We got an idea for the P.O. box next year too that we think will take it to the next level. Right? Oh. What's that? Man! Prank call time to finish the episode. And this time, we're using a suggestion sent in by none other than you. You there. You guys listening, okay? In the comments last week's podcast, someone had a great suggestion. They said, why don't you call a restaurant, pretend to be locked in the toilet, saying that you're out of fucking toilet paper. It is a good idea. It's a great idea. Fuck me. I hope this works. Let's see if I can keep him on the line this time. Um, hello. Um, I've just come into your restaurant, and I'm I'm just in the bathroom, um, and I've gone to the toilet, and there doesn't appear to be any um toilet paper there. Yeah. So I was just wondering if maybe someone could perhaps bring me a roll of toilet paper, or is that too much to ask? Are you no not in my restaurant? I don't have customer in my restaurant at this moment. Yeah, I well, I've come into your restaurant, yeah. So, um, the restaurant, um, the Golden Bamboo uh, Chinese restaurant. And where? The Golden Which Bamboo. You're in? What's that? Sorry. Which toilet you are in? You said you know you don't have the toilet paper in the toilet. Yeah, the the, the, fe- the female toilets. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's the toilet. It's just a dark sort of room. You are in the female toilet. Yeah, the female toilet. In our restaurant. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, I've just in sort of snuck in. Our restaurant. I've just sort of snuck in. Yeah, and I've just gone to the toilet. Yeah. You just gone to the toilet. Yeah, I've just used the bathroom, the ladies' bathroom, and there's no toilet paper here. Is I'm it sure- inside the restaurant, the toilet? Yeah, I'm in a dark room. It's quite dark here. There's no uh, actual light, so yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the toilet. You are in the female toilet. In the female toilet, yes, that's correct. Yeah. Say. I just cannot say, and I'll say. She's yelling. Is anybody? Oh, we should. Sorry, I was someone was yelling at me. Hello? Are you there? Yes, hello. Sorry, I could hear you I screaming. You in the toilet. Nobody answer. Yes, oh, I could, I could hear you screaming. I could. Could you hear me? Maybe I'm in another room. And maybe I've accidentally gone into the male toilets. Could you go and check the male toilets, please? No, I maybe I'm in the sink. Are you there? Yes, hello. There's nobody in our bathroom. Well, look, maybe I'm in some sort of storage um, compartment or something. Do you guys have like a closet? I'm in a dark room and I've just taken a shit on the floor and I can't feel around for any toilet paper, okay? And it's sort of starting I to dry up and caking no on. Idea. Which toilet paper? Which toilet you are? Look, I'm in a dark room, okay? Yeah, so maybe yeah. just, um, maybe you need better signs on your doors, all right? Because I've come in to your establishment looking to use a toilet <laughs> and I've obviously walked into some sort of storage room and I've taken a shit all over the floor and all I'm asking is for a little bit of toilet paper, please! Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. So we are at Bundo, where are you? Yes, from Sandgate Road, Bundle, that is correct. Okay, in the storeroom and shitting in the storeroom, did you say? I, th- I believe I've accidentally walked into a storeroom, yes. And it's getting quite hot. I'm getting quite humid in here. Check the storerooms, please, darling. I'm freaking out. You said, hang on, you said 
that you heard me screaming beforehand, right? Yes, near the female toilets. I must be close. Female toilet. You said the female toilet. Yes, the female. Okay. That is correct. Yeah. The stopping center have the toilet. It's not under mine. I don't have the key on the toilet, okay? Well, look, maybe perhaps I'm in another room next hang to the on, toilet. Hang on, hang on. You just explain where I can just give you a roll of tissue paper. Don't panic, okay? Okay, okay. okay. I'm sorry. It's just... To me, you are in my restaurant. I have I no uh, people in my bathroom, okay? Okay, okay. All right. All right. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm panicking. Calm, it's just calm the, down. Okay. Don't panicking, okay? Okay. It's just All the right. shit's really starting to cake onto my ass cheeks. It's quite no hard. Idea where you walk in the storeroom or whatsoever or toilet, okay? You just mention to me where you are, and I just hand a toilet tissue roll to you, okay? I don't want any trouble, okay? Look, I. You said you heard me heard my voice, okay? Right? It just hands on the moment, okay? So me. you are via the piece of plaza or the end of the car park? Yeah, I must be. Look, at, and l let me just apologize quickly for losing my mind there. But it is quite terrifying. It is a very dark room. And now that I've realized that I'm not in the women's toilet, I am terrified. And the shit is caked onto my asshole. Do you understand? It's, so maybe bring a scrubbing brush. Excuse me. Excuse me. Can you explain to me located where you are? Okay, so... Room, which storeroom, okay? Uh, okay, so, uh, so, uh, so I'll take you through the way I went. I, I walked in through your restaurant, and I headed right, and then I took the first left, and then I walked straight, and I must have accidentally walked into okay. one of the other rooms. I have nobody in my restaurant, okay? I didn't see anybody walk in in my restaurant. I didn't see okay. anyone as I walked in either, darling. I didn't see anyone okay. come in. In my bathroom, is nobody there. You may be invisible. Nobody oh. in my bathroom, okay? Well, well, perhaps one of the storage rooms. You guys have any storage dark cupboards or something? I believe I've taken a shit in one of your cupboards. I don't have any small storage room in my restaurant, okay? I'm sorry, okay? So you need to relocate that. You said you walked in in my restaurant, okay? Okay, okay, listen, you maybe. You walked in in my restaurant. I have nobody in my restaurant except... Our staff and me, okay? Okay, okay. okay. Maybe, if I, maybe, maybe if I start screaming, if you maybe walk towards the woman's toilet, I'm going to start screaming as loudly as okay, I can. Okay, I just walk in the woman's toilet again, okay? Oh, okay. So I, I love her. She's the nicest lady ever. Hon! Hon! There's shit in here! Hon! Can you hear me? Hon! So I believe, could you hear me? I don't see anybody in my toilet, okay? You couldn't hear I me screaming hear then, or? No, I only hear you on the phone, through the phone, not inside my restaurant. We have nobody there, okay? All right? We have nobody in my restaurant. So I just go downstairs at this car park. There's nobody there, too. It's all the storerooms been locked. I don't know where you are, okay? I'm sorry. I can't help you. Okay, well, well, thank you so much for trying. I guess you I'm just... You are not in my restaurant. I'm sorry. You must be called somewhere else. Maybe you go mm. to somewhere else. I have no idea. It's okay? just so confusing because I swear I read your restaurant name as I entered the premises. I'm, I must have gone into a different restaurant. Yeah. That's, that's what absolutely. Must have... Because there's nobody in my bathroom. 
<laughs> yeah, I yeah, that's so strange, isn't it? <laughs> isn't that strange? <laughs> oh my god, how embarrassing. No, that's totally fine. How embarrassing. <laughs> um, all right, I'll see you later. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I think she said it's not funny, okay, at the end. That's oh, oh dude. Oh. I like I, I would let her move in. Yeah, what a nice lady, she guys. She is so nice. And she sounds so sweet. Golden Bamboo Chinese restaurant. Go on go to their restaurant. Show that, that's some, yeah. yeah. Show some support, support small business. Yeah. Support. Supporting small business. Yeah. My voice Eat is fucked there now, and can't I? Fucking like man. That lady is one of a kind. Yeah, she was very helpful. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. As you all know, the, all our podcasts are demonetized. The only way we grow is through your engagement, okay? So we need you to like, comment, and subscribe if you feel like it, all right? Just don't, if you can't think of something to comment, just comment the best or just something. Comment, comment. Comment, comment. And yeah, please, I guess. <laughs> it's fucking, nice. we got- We what? are growing more than we usually do, which is beautiful. Yep, it's fucking, and it's fucking, it's all just word of mouth and it's just fucking good to see. So keep it coming. We love reading your comments. We love the support. We don't expect you to sign up to our website or buy Manscaped shit. All we ask is for a fucking like and a comment. Mm. And we are the best. We're, We're the, the best. best. We are the 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 best. Yeah. And what he said. Man, my pupils are like fucking engorged cunt with Man. pre-cum. Anal glands? Do humans have anal glands? Nah, yeah. just... Maybe some humans. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get into it. That was fucking... Uh, off to talker. Gold cunt. Man, <sighs> wasted so much of that lady's time, man. Yeah. Dude, that that, <laughs> she, that is. She was like, "I could hear you on phone, <laughs> <laughs> but not in the restaurant." We could, um. Oh yeah, that could be uh, that could be the one. That was very good. All right, I'm sweating from laughing <sighs> so much. I'm sweating from screaming so much. Here we go. So she would have been standing next to the toilet. <laughs> Just hearing oh, me screaming. Hearing the phone go off. I thought she might have put the phone down, but she's, but she was there the whole time. Are you done with your screaming now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <She's> like, <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Here we go. <sighs>